Hello everyone, welcome back to another die cast haul. Now we got a pretty decent sized die cast haul here. And here's the thing, I still have more coming in. So, uh, let's see, we got four, like what, six boxes? Six bo uh, boxes and a package. I almost said boxes, I don't know what a boxes is. But anyway, we got six boxes and a package. You know, that little white envelope thing. I barely had any room to do this die cast haul with. You can see where... Like my desk ends, and you can actually see my lamp over there on the other side. I've got the lamp, the other one, setting up on the freezer, the store freezer that's sitting right here beside me. So, yeah, uh, it's a little bit of a bigger haul. But I st again, I still got a few more coming. I've got, let's see, I've got a custom 164 coming along. Yeah, I know, weird, right? Uh, I've got a Dell Jr. COT. Uh, the Budweiser scheme, the red one in Elite in 124, I got that coming. I got a autographed Bowman coming, and I got a, I got a few things. I think I got a few more things that are kind of on the way as well. But anyway, we're going to start off with uh, the smallest to biggest. So we'll do the little white package first. Then we'll do the little small box on, on the top left. And we'll just kind of go down the list until we get to the big box. It has one, or 1772. I don't know why that's there, but it is. So... We'll kind of see uh, what we got in store. I got an idea of what's in the small box up here on the top left. I'm pretty sure that was from K-State. And that should be the Johnson Final Ride Race Edition. And a, I think a Noah Gragson too. So we will get into that very, very shortly. So let's go ahead and get into this diecast haul. So as promised, the first things up, we got the little little white package here. So we're going to kind of cut into this. And see what we got, because I, again, I have no clue what's in here. I actually forgot, like, I really have no idea. So, let's see. A th oh, okay, so there's a Johnson in here. There is a... Who is that? There's a Junior in here. Oh, I remember these. I don't remember who I bought these from. I think this was, uh, I think it was J&J's Collectibles. I could be wrong. But I'm off these on Instagram. So here's the first one. This is probably my favorite one out of it. It is a C.O.T. Uh, Dell Jr. It is the Budweiser scheme, but it's censored, unfortunately. So can I get this out? I'll try to cut the bottom. Because I don't want to cut the car by any means. There we go. So this is the closest thing I can get to the actual Budweiser paint scheme right now. I didn't even know they made a censored edition of this, but I'll take it for sure. I'm still looking for the actual Budweiser car, though. I mean, that thing is like 50 bucks. So we got that right there. It's a little chipped up, which, I mean, I can fix that. I've got paint. It'll be fine. Other one, we got a Johnson. I want to say this is 2007, maybe, or 8. It might be 7. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, I did not cut that good enough. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. These are a little chipped up, or a little more chipped up than I thought they would be. Uh, but here is this one right here. I want to say this is 07. Can I check the bottom? Uh, yeah, it says 07. I don't know if that's the year it was like actually made in. But anyway, I got another one right here. Which I mean, uh, these are a little chipped up, which is fine by me. I don't really care. Again, mainly because I can fix them. So I got another junior right here. I'm pretty sure this is the orange one. That's what it looks like. Uh, I actually bought the orange one not too long ago, but it was in the package, and I never got to review it. So. I saw this one, and I'm like, you know what? Okay. So this is a 2009. Uh, I love this paint scheme. This one's really nice. Uh, so we got two juniors and a Johnson. I forgot the name for a minute. So we got, you know, three little loose 164. It's not a big deal. But still three pretty good little die cast right there. So let's go ahead and move on to our next box, which, again, I'm pretty sure uh, is the Jimmy Johnson and the Gregson. So we'll have to see if I'm correct. I'm pretty sure I am because those are the only 164s. I purchased that should be in a box, so we'll have to see. And as I said, right here is the box. So, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and uh, see what we got again. I'm pretty sure I know what's in here. We'll have to see if I'm right, though. So, cracking this open, we got, you know, some good old pack and popcorn. So, let's go ahead and get some of these out of here. And, yep, sure is. Look at that. Got the Johnson and the Gregson. So, that is uh, very awesome. I'm going to make... The Darlington win and the Richmond win, the back-to-back -back wins. I've already got the Richmond win kind of, uh, I think it was the Richmond win. Whichever one he blew out both tires, I think it was Richmond. Uh, but I also got that uh, underway as well. Only difference is, uh, that was from the Wade. This is from the Gold Series. So we'll still have a die cash review on that as well. Now to the good one, the Johnson uh, Final Ride. Now, we do have the original Final Ride paint scheme. 
and I don't know where it is. It's in here somewhere. There it is. You can see it right here in the back. So uh, they did do a little bit of a different box design. You can kind of see uh, back here. I'm kind of putting it beside it there. Uh, but yeah, a different box design. It's actually got like race wear and stuff on it. So uh, we'll have to take a look at that whenever uh, we get the chance to. Also just fixed my lamp because I forgot to put it down. But anyway, these are two really awesome die casts. Now, of course, the Johnson's a wee bit better because it's the race version. And it is his final 48 die cast we are going to get. Now, of course, we've got Bowman's coming in soon. Uh, but yeah, for Johnson, this is the final one. And still waiting on... Did, did, no, we didn't get the Elliott one yet, did we? I don't think we got the Elliott... No, we didn't. We got the championship, but we didn't get the uh, Phoenix race win. So, And uh, we're still waiting on the two set as well, which I'm also going to purchase... Uh, hopefully, if I get the chance to. That should be a pretty cool little set. But anyway, we got oh, we already got uh, five die casts right here. So, I think they're all, they're all, well, no. That one's DEI. I was going to say they're all Hendrick except for uh, two of them, technically. But we've got two Juniors, two Johnsons, and a Gregson. On to our next box. we got a little bit of a bigger box. So, I don't know if there's like, I mean, I guess it would have to be 164s in here, right? But it's very light, so I don't know. I guess that's what, uh, they got a box for the core. A uh, box for the core. Yeah, okay. Bucks for tour core. That's ex I had to, Okay. Box cutter four is what I meant to say. Jeez, oh, I need to, uh, learn English a little bit, I guess. Anyway, got the box right here. What is that? It's an authentic. I don't remember ordering an authentic. Let's see. Oh, this is the Newman. Okay. Just kidding, I do remember it, but this is going to be, I'm pretty sure this was the final scheme that Ryan Newman won in. So, we're going to make that race win. I think it was, where where did he win it at? I don't remember what track he won it at, but here's Ryan Newman's number 31, a Granger. That one's going to be uh, turned into a custom, so that's going to be pretty awesome. And of course, we're actually going to review the die cast itself before we do all the customization. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be a uh, die cast a little later on down the road. So I actually forgot that I ordered a Authentics. But, yep, anyway, that's it for that box. So let's go ahead and move on. So finally, here is a 124 box, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm, that's what it looks like it's in here. So we got a few of these, actually. I know, surprise, surprise, right? Also, I don't mean to fly through these, like, die casts. Because, like, I mean, if I'm not reviewing them, I don't really have much to talk about, right? It's just, okay, here's this one, and, you know, that's kind of it. So, I don't mean to, like, kind of fly by or fly through all the ones I'm getting. Because, also, I just don't want to, like, sit there and talk and talk and talk on one little die cast, and, you know, we still got more to go. So, I don't want to I don't want to do that. So, let's see what we got here. It is an Elite die cast. Now, I, I think I know what this one is. I'm pretty sure this is the only Elite box uh, that looks like this. This should be the Elliott win from Phoenix, and it is. Okay, so let's see this real quick. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a tasty one. So we're going to set this bad boy right here. Look at that. I'm not really an Elliott person. I'm really not. I mean, nothing against Elliott. It's just I'm not really an Elliott fan. Uh, but, yeah, I think this is a definite purchase. I was going to get his Martinsville win, too, but I'm like, eh, I don't really... I don't really know if I should. I, I mean, in Elite. I still want to get the ARC. But I, something tells me that's going to be a little difficult to find. So, let's, uh, we're not going to take a look at, like, the winter stick or anything. We're just going to look at this bad boy out of the box. Because this guy is nice. So, look, look at that, man. Got the uh, Dayglow Yellow, of course, uh, for Johnson. Because, you know, it's kind of like a final thing. Oh, we got a chewed up tire and everything. Ooh, this is one nice car. If I can get it turned around. Very cool. Very nice. Now, of course, we're going to uh, do a die cast review later on that. Uh, but look at this. Got the got the deck lid opening. That's that's what I wanted it for, honestly. What den is this? Uh, 283? Looks like, or 2002. How many of these were made? 3,452. And yet they still sold out on uh, Plan B, or not Plan B sales, but Circle B die cast. And... And K-State diecast. So I had to get this off of eBay. So it was like 10 bucks more because of shipping and taxes. Uh, but either way, it's about the same price. I just paid a little bit extra just so I made sure I got this diecast. Still not bad at all. Definitely going to do a diecast review on that uh, very, very soon. And do, of course, a closer uh, look. So we'll get into that later. So let's put this bad boy back up and uh, move on to our next box, which should be, I think the rest should be 124s. And with the power of editing, 
boom, here's our final box. Or not a final box, but an Xbox. So, uh, yeah, but that Chase Elliott diecast, man, that's going to be a good one. That really is. So we're going to, that might be one we will, we will review soon. Because uh, I was I was really happy to get to Elite, uh, the Elite. Because I was trying to get the Elite, oh, uh, speaking of, there's another Elite. I was trying to get that one before it sold out. Because it was like the second day in. And it sold out on the both websites I shop at. But, I mean, oh well, I still got it nonetheless. So, let's actually uh, see what's in this one here. Because, I mean, it's an Elite. And I can't really tell because it don't have, like, pictures or anything. So, not even pictures. It doesn't have, like, a sleeve to kind of put, or, like, a uh, an opening like the Elliot did. So, it is a Dale Hart Jr. number 8 Budweiser 2006 Monte Carlo Elite. So, we'll slide this bad boy out to take a close look at, or not a close up, we'll take a, a glance at it, and then we'll put it back in the box, and move on to our next box, so, boom, right here, oh, of course it's in the sleeve, oh, we got antennas too, nice, so we got the, uh, let's see, got the sleeve right here, let's take this out, oh, uh-oh, the, uh, the bottom plate came off, so this right here, you can see, uh, where the screws are, this kind of popped out, so I'm gonna have to, uh, fix that, but anyway, uh, we got the Elite right here. Very, very nice scheme. Uh, let's see if we can fix this bad boy a little bit. Or not fix it, but you can see it's got the Elite detail. All that fun stuff. So, oh, put it the wrong way. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do uh, a die cash review on this uh, very soon as well. I'll tell you what, though. I've bought so many paint schemes of the Junior 8 and, like, the uh, the DEI stripes. And, like, because, like, there's three more over there that I have to review. I bought another 2007 for the COT wing. I bought this one. I bought the 160 for the COT. <laughs> Jesus, that's a lot. But anyway, uh, yeah, this one's going to be reviewed very soon. Uh, I'll just kind of put this in here somewhere. I don't really know where to put it. I'll just slap this bad boy on and uh, call it a day. So, that's it for that one. And let's put the sleeve back on, and we'll move on to our next box. And then after that, we got our final box, which I think is going to be a uh, pretty juicy one, if I remember exactly. So if I get this box on, the sleeve will uh, continue. Come on now. And never mind, i got to do it off camera. So here is our next box, and I think they kind of used a oversized, you can kind of hear that moving around. So I think they used a little bit too big of a box, but that's, uh, that's okay. As long as it got here... And it got here safely. That's all I care about. So, let's open this back here. There's a big gap in it, which is weird. Normally, uh, they'll ship it. Well, I mean, I guess it was from eBay. So, somebody could just... Somebody's wrapping job isn't very uh, on... Or taping job, I guess, isn't very on point. So, let's open this bad boy up. Please, thank you. There we go. Got a whole bunch of bubble wrap, of course. And I think I opened it upside down, actually. I don't know. We'll see. So, let's take this out of here it says it's 2004 so we'll take a take a look at this move this over here get the bubble wrap off or out whatever so this is oh this is the uh it's i guess it's kind of like the dual wind it was a what was it called uh surely it's got it somewhere here right let me lower this down a bit but this was not the 500 win this was like the like one before what's it called uh Budweiser born on date twin one uh, 125 win so the twin 125 whatever uh, but yeah I got this right here this is the same scheme he won the 2004 Daytona 500 with which I also have the elite for unfortunately this is not elite but I mean you know it is what it is it's fine so let's unbox this bad boy right here just real quick kind of take a quick look or a quick glance and uh, yeah let's take a look at this so luckily there was no oh there was no stuff to screw it onto anyway okay cool but we got just a little bit you know i will we'll compare it to the 500 win whenever we get that but it's not an elite oh what the deck lid doesn't open or the roof flaps that's so weird so i guess in 2004 the only thing that would open was the hood unless you got the elite and then the roof flaps would open in the in the deck lid huh that's, I, I didn't know that it's kind of weird but we got the engine here that opens right the hood yeah, it looks like it does. Please, please open. Yeah, it does. All right. So the hood does open. You know, not a big deal. Uh, but this was, um, again, you guys know I'm trying to get all the race wins for Dale Jr. Uh, so this was another one I just added to the collection because I did not have uh, just yet. But luckily I do now. So 
it's all said and done. We got a few more that we got to get. This is like, I think I got like four race wins of like 26 or 25. So I got a little bit to go. I got some money to spend, that's for sure. Uh, that's going to hurt me, but you know, it is what it is. But let's put this back in the sleeve and let's open the big boy. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure because I saw the label, uh, I'm pretty sure this is one that has two in it. It does look like it has two in it. Uh, so that should be uh, a pretty good little box. And when I mean a good little box, I mean a good little box. Like this is a, this is, this is a big boy. This is a big guy. So we're going to have to uh, try to cut this open. I'm going to have to do it off camera actually. Maybe. No, I think I'm okay. But uh, yeah, just, just a little bit of a big box. Not a big deal. So we're going to have to uh, see what we can do here. Now this was shipped with uh, UPS, which is weird because normally it's USPS, right? So, when I got home, I took uh, some mail up to my grandma because there was mail in my box. So I just walked it up to her house. I'm like, "Hey, here's your mail," and she's like, "I saw the uh, the US or the US, UPS, not USPS. The UPS guy was at your house, and I guess he dropped off a box." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." So I went to my porch, and it was raining, by the way. So the box was kind of just sitting in water. So that was nice. So I had to come in, dry it off real quick uh, before any real damage was done. But luckily, we got it taken care of before that could affect it in any way, shape, or form. So, let's go ahead and take this off. We got a little little piece of uh, bubble wrap, which is cool. I could use that for packaging. And we got two die casts here. We got an Oreo car, which should be his Daytona car, I'm pretty sure. Junior's Daytona car, that is. But we're going to look at this one first, uh, maybe. Oh, well, we're going to get him out of the box, of course. Then we're going to kind of look at him if I can get this. Oh, are they combined oh my god how i might do this off camera i don't know how they got he's got this set up oh come on now come on now come on come on come on come on look your way out of there bud yeah it's gonna have to be uh definitely off camera that's uh that's for sure all right again with the power of editing we kind of got this on box here so for whatever reason this box for the junior car is freaking huge. Look at this. Look how big this box is compared to like this. This I mean look like look at the difference. Why is it so much bigger? I don't know, but we'll have to uh pop that open and take a look. Because I've never seen a a box that was bigger than like I don't know what uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so it's got like this weird back opening here, and it's got Oh, some of you are going to hate that noise. I'm so sorry. It's got like a case on it. Oh, that's why it's in a case. Oh, it comes with a little a little thing here. Has Del on Hearts, uh, Newton, North Carolina, Chevrolet. Huh. Oh, well, how about that? Interesting. Huh. You never know. Well, maybe you bought this from like somewhere uh, special or something. But anyway... Oh, the styrofoam. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hold on. What? What is this? Oh, certificate of authenticity. Okay. So, we got these things. So that's why it was such a big, uh, a big piece was because it was in a like a special little case thing, which I didn't know it came in. So, oh God, how to get this out? What is? Something's broke. Something's rattling around down there. Which I don't know. Something broke off. I don't know what that is. Uh oh. Well, we'll have to see. Oh my god, why is it so hard to get out? There we go. Maybe? There we go. Okay. Jesus. And I'm going to try to see what that is that broke off. So it's this little thing here. This wee little piece. I don't know what that is. But here's the car. <laughs> I mean. Got a little bit of race wear. Now, I do have the norm. What is that? Where'd that come from? Oh, no. Did it, like, break from underneath the car? Like... That's so weird. I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look at that. But anyway, uh, this is the race win. Uh, you know, not a whole lot to it, but I will definitely see if I can fix whatever happened there. We got a donut mark over here. So... 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, that is very interesting, and I'm kind of upset about that. I mean, not like a big, it's not a big deal, but I'll have to see if I can fix that in some way. I don't even know where it came from. I don't know, but we'll get it fixed, and uh, we'll kind of see what the heck happened. So, uh, that is not the, it's the final box, but it's not the final die cast. Uh, whenever I move this out of the way, I will show you what came with it. So I'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so here is the other parts of it, I guess. Oh, if I don't drop my thing. Alright, so it says this is another Daytona win from Dell Jr. Uh, I don't think this is a Cup Series. I want to say it's like the, uh, I think it was the Bush Series. Now, I know the last one was not the Cup Series, but I thought it was like the Cup Series, and then it said. Uh, it was like, I don't know, because it was a different type of car. Like, it's the Menards. It's not like the Budweiser or anything. But it's still got the Budweiser-type scheme. So, I don't know, but also got that in the lead as well, if you couldn't tell. So, uh, there's this right there. Uh, yeah, it's not the Cup Series. So, let's see what series this is. Oh, we got some antennas, too. Nice. Yeah, this is from the Bush Series. So, uh, I don't know. Like, they're both the Bush Series, right? 124 scale. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was called the Bush Series back then as well. That was for RCR too. For the uh, the Junior, for the Oreo one. But anyway, uh, yeah, we got this paint scheme right here. So, I mean, it's not really what I wanted. Oh, you can t Oh, look. Look at this. Come on now. Oh, you know you want to. Come on. You know you do. There you go. Look at the window nets down. How about that? Uh, but anyway... I bought this thinking it was a, oh, there we go. I thought this, I bought this thinking it was a, like a Cup Series car, because I'm trying to get ever you know, all of his race wins, uh, but apparently it's not, so I mean, it's a, it's not a big deal, uh, I do, I'm trying to get all of Junior's wins, no matter what, but I'm trying to go for the Cup Series mainly, oh, that's loose, oh, oh no, we'll have to take a look at that, but anyway, yeah, we got this here, this will also be a review, you got a donut mark there, so, it's still like the DEI uh, paint scheme from the Cup Series, but the, so I, don't, I don't know what's going on with that. I'll have to take a look. But anyway, yep, there's all the cars we got for today. Let's put the sleeve back on again. I don't really care about it right now. I'll just uh, fix it later. Why is it so bright? I don't have my brightness on or up. Why is it? Dude, God's looking down upon me right now. I don't know what's going on. Why does it look like that? That's so weird. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to do a little recap right here. Because, you know, we got the... Oh, no, it's falling out. Don't fall out. Don't do that. Anyway, we got uh, some die casts here, of course. So we're going to have to kind of round up the crew and see what we got for this die cast haul today. So here is what we got for the day. We, of course, got the Ryan Numa die cast. We got three junior die cast. No. Did we get three junior wins? I think so. I don't know. But either way, uh, we got some of the race wins here. Of course, got... Yeah, we got three junior ones. Because one was just a 2006, right? Yeah, one was just a 2006, I believe. And then the other three were race wins. Then we got a Chase Elliott race win in the 124 scale, which I never thought I would get, in all honesty. Uh, but so you got the Jimmy Johnsons, the Juniors, and of course you got the Noah Gragson. So... A uh, pretty decent little diecast haul here today, not going to lie. But with that being said, I do believe that'll be all for this diecast haul. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.